In this video, I'm going to talk about using idle to display text in uh, Python string. So as in the previous video, I talked about how to install Python. So once you have Python 3 uh, successfully installed, you can uh, access the built-in IDE, which is idle and I installed the 3.9 so I'm going to open up idle and here is the shell um, and in shell you can run the, the, the commands and be able to see the output but since we are going to write the program you can click file new file and here is where you will be writing your script now in in exercise 2 it tells us to uh, create a program and also, or you can use shell to print the function, to use the print function to output your name. So here is my shell, and I can simply put in print, and I can say, you can use double or single quotation mark for string, so I can use a single quotation mark or a double quotation mark to include the string in the parameter. And what the print function does is it, uh, take whatever that you put in the parameter and try to output it in it and to show it to display in text. So what we want is we want to go ahead and print. My name is Casey Wynn. And you can put your name in um, for the exercise too. So once you complete that and enclose the parameter with the closing bracket what we can do is we can press enter and what the shell does is it's going to go ahead and print out the output it shows you the output here now if you wanted to write it into a program then you can go to file new file and it's going to open up the text editor which shows untitled here as we haven't saved it as a name so what we can do is we can say print and we would say, my name is, and put your name. Now, if you use double quotation mark, make sure you close with the double quotation mark. Close that uh, with the, the brace. And then we would go ahead and click File, Save As, and choose a location to save. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my week one folder for CIS 30A and I'm going to go ahead and click put name.py. So for Python program to work, make sure that we have the .py extension and since we installed the Python packages, it automatically knows this is a Python file. So we would go ahead and save that here. So once I've saved it, I'm going to go ahead and click run or press F5 and then run module. Now, notice that it brings me back to the shell once I click F5 or press run there, um, and it shows me. So all your output would be in shell if you're using idle, and you're going to write your program or your script in your editor, which can be opened from shell by clicking File and New. Now, if you're using an IDE like Tawny, um, you can download and install it. It's very simple. And then you can simply create a new file. And if you want to access shell, you can also access shell there. So we can say, my name is Casey in the shell. And I press enter and I will see the output here. Or if I wanted to create a new file, I can do the same here. My name is Casey Quinn. We can do another print. This is just added. It's not part of the lab, but we can say I am a professor. Print. I love Python. So, as you can see, we are using string 
in the parameter of the print method and what that will do is gonna take whatever we put in for that string and be able to display that in text so when we click run if it hasn't saved it it's gonna prompt us this so I'm gonna go ahead and point it to week one to save and then we can say lab one ex two dot py and if you don't put the dot py here it should, would automatically save it as a dot py as you already installed and it specified it as a python file so we're going to go ahead and click save so when we ran the program it shows me this is my name right here is this output for the second statement i am a professor what we put here in this and I love Python. So this is just an illustration on how you can write your program or you can use shell to output text using print method and in the parameter in between the parentheses or the, the brace you want to use the double quotation mark or the single quotation mark to specify that it is a string and you would print out or display the text which is part of that string, which is that string. So once you click run, make sure you answer this question. And in after you run the program, and when you create the program, save it as a name.py, make sure that you take a screen capture and include that onto, paste that onto a document. If you don't know how to take screen capture, I provided instruction for that at the beginning of the lab before exercise one so make sure you take a look at the information there on how to take screen capture so that concludes my exercise two uh, illustration and look for the next video to uh, look, see how exercise three can be done